Hello, um, here is a long put off video of a plane that I made quite a while ago, but I just never got around to filming it. So sorry that there hasn't been one in forever, but um, here it is. This is my P-51 Mustang. It is based on the Red Tails from the Tuskegee Airmen Flight Group. If you didn't know what that was, um, they were a like group of all black fighter pilots. I and the only reason I made it was because of the movie Red Tails. If you haven't seen it, it's on Disney Plus right now. But um, it's a great movie, really fun to watch, and so I based my plane off of that. But um, there's not much to it. It's mostly external features, but might as well show you some of the cool little details that I threw into it. Um, first of all, not super impressive, but just the slope of the rear tail fin was kind of fun to make. Um, right here, the flaps most definitely work. Um, I had to special order tons and tons and tons of these right here, one by two um, slope pieces with the cutouts. Um, you can see the side of one right there, but um, yeah, I had to order a ton of those. Um, had to wait for those to show up. Oh, the tires fell off. There we go. Um, yeah, the wheels like to fall apart sometimes. But um, yeah, I also, it's from, so if any of you watch Brick Mania or any of their videos, I stole the nose de design from them, but um, that's about all I stole. It's just a nice rounded nose cone and the propeller does spin. It's got the red around the back of it like the movie and then it's got the little engine cutout kind of piece. Then underneath we have fully retractable landing gear. As you can see it folds in. I didn't have enough room to make anything cover that. I might change that at some point once I decide I want to build something and there's a challenge there and I'll do it. But yeah, they fold in pretty flush. You can see it's almost perfectly flush up in there. Then there's also the air intake right here for the, I, I watched a video on it, but I forget. So I'm not gonna quote something that I don't know. Um, you may have already seen it, but right here, there is a little hole. It's not for any plain things, but I do have a stand for this that I don't know where it is at the moment. I might've broken it, but um, that was so that it could st sit on a stand. And then right here, we have the rear landing gear, which folds in like that. So, yep, there's the landing gear. I'm gonna set it down without the landing gear for now. But um, that is pretty much all external features. Uh, the nose does slope down slightly and I couldn't do that under the bottom so I just made a step but it's all right I like it um, I used the lever pieces like the base pieces for the guns on the wings um, I made it flat right here just because I liked the thickness of the wings I didn't know quite how to make this piece fit well so it kind of looks chunky on the wing on, on the wing tips but I think it looks fine um, and inside we have our pilot who is, has his oxygen mask, um, nothing special here, just a guy that I threw in there that looks somewhat like a pilot. Um, and then inside, this is one of my favorite pieces, how I got this piece right here to fit. I actually wanna take this apart right now and show you. So right here, I'll just show you the little bits and pieces. There's a chunk, I'll set right there. And then right here, let's see if I can get it out, is another chunk. As you can see, when you put them together, they fit almost perfectly seamlessly like that. And it is rounded, but when it goes together, it almost fits seamlessly right there. And then when you close the lid, that little notch in the, the notch in the um, windscreen right there fits perfectly around that. And so it's just a, almost a seamless fit. And I was very, 
very impressed with how that came together. Yes, you can see some red inside. I didn't make it perfectly colored all the way through, which I actually kind of enjoy because then I can use all the gray pieces on other builds. But um, yeah, so there's that. And then inside it's just using a clip joint like that. Oops, clip joint like that, stuck on. And that is what makes that slope possible, which I thought was just really cool how that fit together. Oh, why won't it go? There we go. Then inside, just a little light, because I didn't know what to put on that side, but then you can see a little I'm, I'm not sure if, oh, you can't see that. Oh, there it is. The little gauge right in there. Right in there, Philip. yep, there, there's a gauge. Two more gauges and a lever. And then I really enjoyed how the seat came out with the specific headrest in the back and the shaping of the seat. But, yep, not much else to it. Um, it was a really fun build, just took me forever to finish the video of it um yeah that's it let me know if you like it send in comments if i if there's anything i should change any building techniques you like better but um yeah and i like to keep almost all of my builds um my american fighter jet video that i posted i actually don't have that one anymore but um it's yeah, it was actually used to build most of this. So almost all the gray pieces you see in this, well, some, not all of them, came from that jet. So yeah, thank you to its older brother for <laughs> sacrificing. Um, but yeah, there's that one. And then I still, it's kind of broken, the landing gear's broken, but um, I still totally have my F-35. What's interesting though is I only have two of these or one of these windshields so I used it for both of them so it's quite annoying having to switch back and forth and also the pilot's mask I only have one of so lots of trading back and forth but it's all right. But yeah that is my P-51 Mustang. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know what you think.